大家好，多谢大家今晚嚟参加我哋呢个相遇嘅新冠状病疫喺网上嘅城市论坛。到而家为止呢，喺呢个病疫里面，好不幸已经好多人丧生咗。咁我哋嘅心里面当然非常难过啦，亦都希望佢哋嘅朋友同埋家属可以节哀顺变。同时，我哋亦都希望其他嘅病人系可以早日康复嘅。我哋特别系要感谢喺呢个大流行病嘅病疫中为我哋服务嘅所有人，呢啲当然系包括我哋前线嘅医务人员啦，喺佢哋支持佢哋背后嘅所有嘅人员啦，同埋科学家啊，以及喺个食品生产链、环境服务清洁、司机啊等各种各样嘅员工，喺我哋生活中都系非常之重要嘅，我哋非常之多谢你哋。Thank you all for joining us in our second bilingual town hall on the novel coronavirus for the community. Good evening, everyone. Too many people have already died during this pandemic, and our hearts goes out to their families and friends. We hope that the other infected patients will get well soon, and fortunately, most people will get well. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all the people who tackled the pandemic and keeping the essential services running. These are, of course, medical professionals and big team that supports them in the background. Also, scientists, as well as people who work in the food production chains, environmental services, drivers, deliverers, etc. We thank you all very much. I am the Canada Yi Jian Hong Research Institute's director, called Liu Xuyan, and also the host of the Lunch Hour this evening. 我哋将系会用粤语同埋英语做呢次讲座嘅。I'm Diana Lau, director of the Asian Health Institute at the University of California, San Francisco, and moderator for this evening's town hall, which will be in both Cantonese and English. 呢张图片我系上次已经用过噶啦，上次咧就系解释呢个 COVID-19 个字点解，今次咧就要特别要指出 COVID-19 咧并不等于。系中国病毒。I used this COVID slide in the last town hall. In that time, I was using this to explain what COVID-19 means. But this time, I want to point out that this is not equating to Chinese virus. 今晚嘅论坛系包括咗三个部分嘅简介啦、小组讨论同埋最后咧就系问答时间。如果你有更多嘅问题啦。你可以通过屏幕下面嘅缩放白色长方形嗰个框框打入你嘅问题，送俾我哋嘅。咁如果你答唔到咧，就可能喺下次论坛再答你。This agenda has three parts: an introduction, the panel discussion, and then a Q&A session at the end. You actually will find answers to many of the questions that you send in in the panel discussion session. And also, you can send us more questions tonight by typing into the white oblong boxes at the bottom of the Zoom screen. And if we couldn't get to answer your questions tonight, we will try to answer that in the next town hall. The next slide is a snapshot of the COVID-19 pandemic on April 22nd. These are the results of the data from April 22nd. The census data from the four corners of the globe are the numbers of people who have died from this pandemic. 咁呢個冠狀病毒啊，已經係喺全世界有二百六十萬咁多嘅人感染㗎喇。而且死呢已經係多過十八萬一千個。喺美國呢，確診嘅病例呢，亦都將近到八十三萬人，亦都有超過四萬六嘅人死亡嘅。喺中國呢，就係、是、最早期㗎喇，確診嘅病例呢，係超過咗八萬二千個，其中呢，係有四千六百多個人死亡。咁大部分嘅人咧都係嚟自武漢同埋湖北嘅。This slide shows the number of people who have died from the COVID-19 as of April 22nd. The coronavirus has sickened more than 2.6 million people worldwide and killed over 181,000. In the U.S., almost 830,000 have contracted the COVID-19 and over 46,000 have died. Experts said that we are only in the beginning phase of this pandemic, and that's what makes it so scary. In China, where the coronavirus was first discovered, there have been so far over eighty-two thousand cases already, and over forty-six hundred people have died from it, mostly from the Wuhan and Hubei province. We have two experts here to join us in this town hall today. The first one is Dr. Peter Chin Hong. 
Chen Ziping Yi Sang. Dr. Chin Hong is a professor of the Infectious Disease Department at the University of California, San Francisco, and he is also the Associate Dean for the UC Regional Campuses. He is also the Director of the Immunocompromised Host Infectious Disease Program at UCSF and has received several distinguished teaching awards. Chen Ziping Yi Sang 系我哋加州大学三藩市分校医学院嘅传染病系嘅教授，佢亦都系加州大学全部校区嘅副院长。陈教授咧亦都系 UCSF 低免疫功能传染病计划嘅主任，系获得咗几个杰出嘅教学奖嘅。另外嗰位就系杜启宏医生 ，Dr. Kelvin t o u is the clinical associate professor in the Department of Microbiology at the University of Hong Kong and a clinical microbiologist at the Queen Mary Hospital of Hong Kong. His research focuses on severe upper respiratory tract infections, and his research includes improving diagnostic tests, the virus behavior in patients, and their immune responses. Dr. To is prolific. He has published over 150 academic research papers. 我哋今日亦都好高兴请到杜启宏医生嚟到参加我哋今日嘅城市论坛。杜医生系香港大学微生学系嘅临床副教授，以及系玛丽医院嘅临床微生学家。佢嘅研究重点系严重嘅上呼吸道感染疾病。杜医生系好叻，出咗多过一百五十篇嘅文献嘅。多谢你哋，杜医生、陈医生、Dr. To、Dr. Chen、Hong。Thank you so much for joining us today。咁跟住呢张图片咧，就系、是、我哋成日都听到话吊瓶曲线。Dr. Peter Chen、Hong。This is the famous flattening the curve that we see all the time。What exactly does it mean？ Yes,、yeah, so I think there is a lot of misunderstanding in the community what flattening the curve means. People think that it means that、um, you have fewer cases, although you might see fewer cases in flattening the curve. What it really means is that the cases get spread out over a long period of time, and it's not about the total number of cases total, but rather whether or not we have enough beds or ICU beds or ventilators. Or oxygen to support the demand caused by the patients who are sick. So, if you have a big surge like what happened in New York, you don't have enough ventilators or oxygen. So that's、uh, not flattening the curve. Whereas, if you flatten the curve, even though you have cases spread out over a period of time, it never exceeds the demands、uh, that the the hospital is able to keep in step with the demands from the patients. Like in this curve, the blue part that's under the 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 green line, that's what we want to achieve, right? Correct. Because less people would die if we can keep them in the healthcare system and give them the help、right. they need.、And、you don't have to split a ventilator into two. You don't have to make decisions about who is and who is,、uh, can't get the ventilator. You can imagine if the red is true, the hospital can only hold so many patients and take care of them safely. So then, you have many more patients, and the health system isn't、uh, made, isn't set up to take care of all those patients. So the green line is the capacity of the healthcare system.、Yeah. So whatever in the red above the green, that little peak above the green, those are the patients that will not be able to be as,、uh, admitted to the into the healthcare system. Or they'll be admitted, but it would be、um, under rationing of healthcare. 所以依個咧就係我哋成日都講嘅，將依條拉平咗嗰嗰條曲線嘅嘅嘅位，就係、是、其實咧就好成日好想咧，就係、是、個醫療嘅系統嘅容量係有限嘅，係有咁多張牀就係、是、咁多張牀，就算增加咧都係有個容有個限度嘅。咁所以咧，我哋嗰啲病人咧，就我哋而家想咧就，即係佢有瘟疫係誒、嗯、有感染咗咧，我哋咧就係、是、希望佢。即係唔好過咗我哋超過我哋嗰個醫療嗰個系統嘅容量，咁等佢哋咧係可以得到適當嘅服務。OK， 所以依個，所以依依個係一個好重要嘅誒環節嚟嘅。以後陣間仲會繼續講嘅。So this is where we are going to start talking a little bit today on the current stage of things of the coronavirus. Dr. Tao, you probably don't、uh, see this too often, but we are comparing、uh, LA and San Francisco. This is the famous slide of Dr. Rutherford, and the whole point is to see if the shelter-in-place policy is working. And he's comparing 
San Francisco with Los, Los Angeles. So Dr. Chin Hong, can you, can you tell if this, if we are leveling in San Francisco compared to LA? Yeah, so I think one of the biggest indicators of how successful a shelter in place policy is, according to the epidemiology experts, is when do you institute shelter in place compared to the first death? And you can see from LA versus San Francisco, the time from the first death to shelter in place was very soon in San Francisco, but, very, but a little bit longer in LA. Of course, there are other features that make San Francisco different from LA, but when you look at this all over the world, like in Italy with similar communities, the time from the first death to when you start shelter in place is an indicator of how many people will die in that community. So uh, I think the illustration of San Francisco and LA should, bears that out. If you look at the Bay Area versus Southern California, it's also very similar. Um, and certainly if you look at you know, California versus New York, uh, that's also similar because when is your first death and compared to the first death, when do you start shelter in place? LA is different as well. So when you have enough people like New York having it, uh, it spreads faster, but it doesn't, only, it doesn't explain that beginning slope. So again, that's really important. And it takes a lot of um, progressive leaders like London Breed to really, uh, you know, she was the first really in the country to, to do this. 他在LA那裡 Dr. Cho, do you have any comments about this slide? Actually, I'm very glad to see San Francisco is doing very well. I think this photo is actually the most important thing the 檢疫的措施的效果是會差很多 我們要記住每一個人可能會惹到兩個或者三個人,所以個疫情過了一定多了那麼多的病人的時候,其實他60人或者20人或者260人或者再多一點,所以個控制就會難了很多,所以我們這幅圖最重要就是收到如果要做任
咁一封咗關之後咧，其實去到二月中間咧，差唔多冇冇病人咁滯。其實二月嗰啲咧，好多都係日本嗰、那個誒、呃、遊輪嗰、那個誒誒啲病人開始翻嚟嘅時候。咁跟住香港其實開始去到三月頭咧，就已經放鬆咗啲措施。咁但係喺嗰陣時發生咩事咧，就有大量嘅旅客由美國同埋歐洲翻嚟。咁三月就係啱啱美國同埋歐洲誒、呃那個疫情開始爆發嘅時候。咁所以你見到咧，去到三月廿零號咧，個疫情係最高峰。去到其實去到三月十八九度開始咧，就開始喺機場就增加個檢疫嘅措施。咁就係我哋派啲有啲誒樽啦，俾個誒俾啲翻嚟嘅旅客就留呢個口水嘅樣本就測試嘅。咁同埋咧，去到三月廿一二號度咧，就開始每個。誒翻嚟嘅旅客咧，就要、呃、隔離啦。我哋會比較手帶佢。咁嗰個措施當然，所有啲措施要成,成功咧，都唔係一兩日可以搞得掂嘅。咁所以慢慢慢慢去到四月頭咧，就開始降落，開始下降啦。咁同埋三月尾有一個情況咧，就係、是、好多爆發喺香港咧，就喺蘭桂坊啊。個蘭桂坊點解咧？就是、因為有一個百幾人嘅群組。咁因為佢哋原來咧就、呃、香港有個。誒誒嗰啲巴呢，佢哋有啲惡手啊。咁其實睇成個公司管理有百幾個百幾個惡手嘅。咁嗰百幾人呢，就喺香港唔同嘅巴。咁開頭就蘭桂坊有有多病人，跟住呢就發覺其他嘅酒吧都有。咁跟住香港就實施咗將所有嘅酒吧咧都刪晒。咁所以去到四月頭，而家都差唔多冇證咁滯。即係去到今日呢，其實大部分嘅證呢，都係喺美國或者歐洲喺機場已經誒 pick up 到嘅。所以、呃、香港、呃、其中一個做得好點講咧？因為香港人咧就比較係好有怕死啦，即係自從沙士之後咧就比較驚啲。咁所以我哋就比較接受所有呢啲誒好緊要嘅，即、就、係、是、stringent 嘅誒誒檢疫措施。咁所以香港人其中一樣咧就係、是、好多人都好願意去誒誒遵從呢啲檢疫措施，同埋好接受呢啲檢疫措施啊。咁所以就暫時香港比較成功，我諗就係呢個原因咯。Um, so um, I think just to briefly summarize, in Hong Kong there have been two peaks,、uh, one in、uh, late January, early February, and the other in March. The first peak was due to、uh, travelers returning from China mainly, and and because of that,、uh, in early February、uh, we have closed the border with China, and you can see that the the the, the epidemic has come down.、Um, in February. Only very very few cases, and mostly from the cruise ship from Japan. And then in March, there's a large peak,、uh, mainly because of travelers,、uh, not really travelers, but students,、uh, people working outside Hong Kong, returning from to, from to Hong Kong. So most of those cases have been linked to those returning travelers. And、uh, in Lan Kui Fong, where all the、uh, travelers meet,、uh, there was a large outbreak in in those pubs. And so Hong Kong government has decided to shut down the pubs as well.、Um, and so with all these measures, fortunately, the epidemic has come down to single digits in the latest days.、Um, and throughout this period, is a lot of. I think the success in Hong Kong so far is not just because of the implementation of the measures taken by the government, but also because of the compliance of the citizens.、Um, I think this is very important. Um, Hong Kong people are very, very supportive of all these measures.、Uh, you know, in Hong Kong, we have these、uh, wrist rings, uh, wrist—I、um, don't know how to call—so、uh, that you can trace, track those quarantine people. And when those people actually leave their home, others on the street will report them to the police, make sure they are catched, they are caught.、Uh, you know, this is how strict, I mean, how compliant we are in Hong Kong. Um, I think one of the main thing is because Hong Kong exp has experienced SARS before, and we have the very very bad experience, and we are all very、um, willing to、uh, sacrifice a bit and comply with these measures. And Kelvin, do you, I remember you told me about the case when the student left the house and the old man chased her down the road from the news?、Oh. Did you talk about、yeah. that?、Um, yeah, actually, we have、uh, a few cases like that. Um, you know, when somebody with a wrist、uh, wrist ring going to a restaurant, the restaurant、uh, 
either the owner or the other patrons will call the police and make sure they're caught. These are the comparison between Hong Kong, San Francisco, and New York. We have friends and um, people from New York um, on the East Coast joining us. And so we want to show a little bit of what New York City is doing compared to San Francisco and then Hong Kong. And we look at San Francisco and Hong Kong already. So New York City, please comment on what's going on in New York City. <laughs> New York City, just New York City, not New York State. There will be even more. Dr. Peter Chin Hong, anything? Yeah, so there's a lot of differences between San Francisco and New York City, and I will talk about that first. And then we'll have Dr. To talk about the differences between Hong Kong and the U.S. in general. So San Francisco and New York City, of course, very different in terms of population. But probably the Bay Area is similar to New York City in the number of population, but very different because New York City is, is denser. A lot of people take public transportation. Uh, there's also a high number of uh, minority populations who are not Asian, so a large number of African Americans and Latino patients in New York uh, who ended up having a very high mortality from uh, COVID-19, probably due to other reasons, not just um, the disease itself. And we can talk about that. But the main difference between San Francisco and New York, again, coming back to that statistic that the epidemiologists talk about, when do you start shelter in place compared to your first death? Actually, when you look at the first death in the Bay Area and the first death in New York, they were actually, the Bay Area actually had the first cases. New York's cases were later. But the Bay Area uh, had a very num same number of cases around March 13th or so. And then um, shelter in place happened, but shelter in place happened six days later in New York. And every day you wait for shelter in place, the, the hard, hard, harder it is with numbers of cases. And it's worse in a place like New York because again, it's much denser. So if you get to a certain number of cases, it's gonna spread like wildfire. Um, so again, you can't compare the two cities, but you can compare the early epidemic when there are fewer cases in both. And, and there are differences as well between San Francisco and New York. But again, even when there was shelter in place in New York, because it's so dense in the subways, there was not any recommendation for community masking. So a lot of people were just going to the subways and there were a lot of pictures of people, even when shelter in place was taken, waiting for the bus, uh, the, the train, and they were not wearing masks. So you can imagine with all of that disease in New York, already raging and you're taking public transportation without wearing a mask and no recommendation, it's going to be a big problem. So that's part of the issue with uh, the differences between the two. New York uh,不同的人,人种,有,还有,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,
喺香港呢，呃、我哋大,大部分嘅即係好多病人入咗院之後呢，都會接受一啲藥物嘅治療嘅。咁嗱，當然而家未有一隻藥叫做好肯定係一定有幫助。咁但係睇返我哋而家誒好多病人嘅數據呢。都顯示到我哋個而家俾嘅藥咧，似乎係有效嘅。咁所以當然呢啲要多啲分析啦。咁仲講仲有其他好多原因嘅，即係例如、呃、因為我唔係太清楚喺誒紐約市個醫院嘅情況啦。咁但係香港暫時因為個感染嘅數目比較低咧，咁所以全部感染嘅病人咧都可以入到誒、呃、醫院，同埋冇話唔夠。诶、呃、呼吸机啊，唔够氧气啊，唔够其他即系、呃呃、配套设施嘅。咁呢个亦都系好紧要。点解我哋个即系当个医疗系统仲仲系承受到嘅时候咧？咁、那个死亡率会好低嘅。咁但系当个医疗系统承受唔到嘅时候咧，那个死亡率会突然间升高咗好多咯。So、um, I just yeah go briefly with English a bit. I think one、um, I, I'm I'm glad to see that Hong Kong has the lowest death rate, but I think there's a few reasons. Um, first is because we are testing a lot of people in Hong Kong, and many of the cases have really really mild symptoms or asymptomatic. So that when the denominator is is very big, uh, that the, the death rates will appear much lower. I understand in the states, um, the number of tests is not sufficient in the beginning, and so many many of the cases would have been missed. So that brings the death rates. Much higher, and secondly,、uh, which I'm not too sure whether it's true or not, is Hong in Hong Kong many people are actually given drugs,、um, antivirals for treatment.、Uh, there are many many clinical trials in Hong Kong. Actually,、uh, in Hong Kong,、uh, uh, I, 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 we of course we are still waiting for some of the、uh, data, but I believe that some of the drugs are really really working to reduce the number of deaths in Hong Kong. And thirdly. Uh, because the number of deaths, a、uh, number of cases is low in Hong Kong, all the cases are isolated in, and they have, and we don't have problems with the lack of ventilators, the lack of oxygen, or other things. But I understand, say for example, in New York,、um, because the number of patients just exceeded the capacity, so、uh, a lot of the patients just wasn't able to receive the、uh, optimal care because of the capacity is just. Over, so I think there's another reason why the death, there's a difference in death rate. Okay,、so、that's a great great point. I, I would、uh, echo that a lot of the death rate is due to the ability to test in the population to get that number. But again, you can't dispute just the number of deaths per population base, which is not presented here in the. I guess the the death rate per hundred thousand is is still very high.、Um, In terms of in New York City versus the others, because the population, I think that denominator. And correct me if you got that statistic wrong, Dan. It, it's just for the general pop population rather than the population tested. But testing does have an impact on the proportion of people who are dead. This is over the population of 8.4 million. So the the deaths is you know I think it's a, a bona fide. You can't dispute the deaths the the thing. And then in terms of Access to investigational drugs. I I I think it's just like exceeding hospital resources. If you have a surge in New York, you can't really be organized to give everyone access to all the investigational drugs. Whereas in San Francisco, you know we were pretty good. Almost everybody got access to investigational drugs if you were admitted into one of the main hospitals. So again, because. Giving getting a drug in a trial is a lot of you need a lot of infrastructure and time, and if people are coming in so quickly and and dying so quickly, you don't even have the time to deal with getting consent and doing all those things for the investigational drug. You're just trying to put out fires. 咁我哋而家见到呢张图片咧，就系呢啲常用嘅缓解政策啦。中间嗰个橙色嗰四个部分咧，就而家三藩市咧做紧嘅政策。係相當成功下嘅，咁就係包括家居檢疫啦、隔離啦、社交隔離啦，同埋係遮面嘅。咁出面嗰四樣嘢咧，而家三藩市咧就暫時未做得盡善盡美，係可以有改進嘅地方，或者係要開始做啊，甚至。
So this is a mitigation strategy slide that shows what San Francisco and other places in the nation are doing. The orange circle in the center shows the four things that San Francisco is doing quite well, and they include stay-at-home orders, facial covering, social distancing, and quarantine. And the other four areas in the blue part surrounding the orange circle, they are the four things that are not being well done in San Francisco yet, and there are rooms for improvement. The next slide shows the two Chinatowns, one in San Francisco and one in LA, and it's taken during the daytime. These pictures should show lots of people walking along the street, but because of the stay-at-home or shelter-in-place orders, the Chinatowns are like ghost cities, as you can see from the pictures. 咁呢個咧就係三藩市同埋羅省嘅台灣埠。咁你見到咧係因為呢個家居檢疫嘅命令咧。兩個城市咧都變咗好似鬼城咁樣樣，係日頭咧都冇人行嘅。So this is over the last weekend。上個禮拜尾啊，周圍都有嗰啲誒示威。So people are rallying, protesting, uh, because they 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 don't have a job and you know、uh, financially they're strapped. There are many reasons why they're protesting, and they have their reasons. Freedom, you know, they feel restricted. 咁呢個咧就係而家即係美國嘅環境啦。嗰啲人唔係咁聽話嘅。誒，你叫佢。Not wearing any masks. Now this is also a demonstration in Hong Kong. They do that for not because of the、uh, coronavirus, but they do that for political reasons, for for their democracy, right? But look at how people are gathering, and they are all wearing masks, and that's the difference. 個個都戴住個口罩嘅喺香港嗰啲。This is、um, a slide that shows the different states. And this is a sample of the states that were protesting over the weekend. That there were people protesting in the state capital over the weekend for、um, for having to stay home or all the、uh, restrictions on their activities. And so you can see that the red line is the red line is New York, and then the other lines are down there. They are less, but nevertheless, they are still on an uphill slope. I, I think it's really、um, concerning to a lot of people in the United States that the states where they're holding these protests are, have not even—they're still、uh, not, haven't peaked. Some of them, so for example, Texas, and、um, and I think people are worried that even that act of protesting、uh, will lead to more transmissions in that community, which is an ironic thing, but、uh, that's what's going, probably going to happen. 即係其實有啲佢連都最高峰都未去到嘅，咁佢就已經開始嚟到嘈亂巴閉咧，就唔中意人哋管制住佢。依、这個就睇到嗰啲美國人同誒、呃、亞洲人好多時嘅生活環境啊、誒、呃、理念啊、思想啊，好多嘢都係唔同，所以得出出嚟嘅後果咧都係有啲唔同嘅。So this is Georgia. Look at Georgia. It's one of the states that was protesting, and the governor said that he wants to. Allow some business to reopen later this week. Do you think they're ready? Of course not. I mean, it's very scary, and it's going to probably result in、uh, thousands of people who die unnecessarily. So there's a trade-off, right? So you open too early, some people get to go to work, some people get their freedom, and some people get to die. Especially if you're not wearing masks in the community, because you don't believe it's a you know a lot of people in the U.S. Not the majority, luckily, but still, a lot of people think it's a conspiracy. Okay, this is Michigan, another state that was protesting over the weekend, and、uh, the governor's not ready to open up yet, though, on this one, which is good. But the protesters are calling an end to the stay-at-home stay orders. So, but that's what we are dealing with in America. So it's very, very scary, right? Here we are in San Francisco, doing quite well, and then the other states are catching up. And protesting, and then their race might be jumping up, and then it's going to diffuse across the other places. And and we, yeah, we, because California is not like Hong Kong; we can't close our borders to the other states. 山关啊，好似香港咁，即系山到佢唔准唔准啲人由第二个州过嚟，我哋系做唔到咯。So this is Hong Kong. So Dr. Cho. 系啦，咁其实喺香港咧，诶。So this is a study that's done by Hong Kong U.、Uh, yes, it's done by our、uh, School of Public Health. Um, they, 即系我哋 School of Public Health, 咁佢就
即、就、係、是、用誒、呃、用啲科學嘅方法啦，就證實咗即係隔離啊、限制社交係好有用嘅。咁其實我諗香港其中一樣最好嘅嘢咧，就係、是、戴口罩。誒、呃、好多人唔記得戴口罩，即、就、係、是、開頭、呃、大家都覺得戴口罩係保護自己。咁但係好多人唔記得咧，同埋誒唔記得咗戴口罩其實係保護埋其他人。當你有病嘅時候，戴咗口罩其實。你就算噴咗任何嘅病毒出嚟，都會大部分俾個口罩遮住咗。咁而戴另外嗰個人戴口罩嘅話咧，亦都避免咗吸入。所以當個病人或者另外嗰個人都一齊戴口罩嘅時候咧，其實係一個雙重嘅保險嚟嘅。咁所以點解戴口罩如果要成功，一定要唔係話淨係有病嘅人戴咧，係所有人都戴咧？咁係因為我哋需需要雙保險啊，就 instead 得個單嘅保險。咁我諗呢個最緊要啦。咁誒、嗯，我諗所有呢啲措施呢，其實即係好多人其實一開頭嘅時候問我，你贊唔贊成封關啊？做呢樣做嗰樣？咁我就我答好簡單，其實科學上呢，就所所所有做呢啲嘢都一定啱嘅，即係你俾唔俾人出街啊，戴口罩啊呢啲。咁但係好多時始終人就係人，我哋好多人之常情。當你冇錢開飯嘅時候，當你好悶喺屋企嘅時候，當你想見你嘅男女朋友又見唔到嘅時候，就開始會出現咗好多其他嘅問題。咁喺美國我見到好多、呃呃、protest 啦，喺香港其實最近呢一排咧呢幾日咧，因為香港個香港仲係實施咗即係比較嚴格嘅措施即係仲係唔開啲 pub 啊，唔開啲美容院啊嗰啲。咁開始而家香港咁少病人嘅時候咧。我哋嘅、呃呃、市民咧，都開始出聲話，可唔可以放寬啲措施啊？即係有個好切身嘅例子，我尋日我嘅鄰居啱啱搭 l i f 嘅時候，佢係一位女士嚟嘅，佢話、哎：，我都唔明點解而家美容院仲唔開得、啊、所以喺香港其實而家都越嚟越多呢啲聲音咧，想、呃、重開翻啲誒誒唔同嘅 business 咯、啊、咁所以我諗誒唔係淨喺美國發生嘅，美國就。即係特別誇張啊！即係好多人成上街抗議啦。但係喺香港，其實市民都開始，即係尤其是個疫情減低嘅時候咧，都開始好想放寬翻唔同嘅檢疫措施咯。So it's not unique to the United States, but also in Hong Kong, if things calm down, then they want things to be open up. So we're going to talk about testing a little bit, Dr. To. This slide is a study that was done、uh, in、uh, USC and in the LA County, and they announced that. And we don't know how good the results are at this time. They were doing antibody test,、uh, antibody testing. Do you guys do antibody testing in Hong Kong, or is it not, all for? We, we don't do it for diagnosis. You do not do it for. So when you collect your、uh, saliva samples, what test do you run with it? We do PCR, so we detect the virus. And you can get the result in less in twenty four hours or less.、Uh, that's a lot. Well. The test is very quick in a few hours, but、okay. it's all the problems in transportation, how to collect right, it. Right, right, right. The test is only a few hours. Okay, so、um, this is what we are seeing, and the next slide will show that if, based on some experts, they they say that for the population, we need to do a hundred and fifty tests on an average for one hundred thousand people on average. So you multiply that by the daily、uh, by the population of each place, you will end up with the the U.S. will need almost half a million tests a day, and New York City needs twelve thousand to thirteen thousand tests a day, and San Francisco needs thirteen hundred and twenty five tests a day, which we actually have the capacity to do that. Except that we are not just running the test for San Francisco; we run the test for other cities too in the vicinity, right, Dr. Chen? Well, so we don't have enough swabs. That's right. We don't have enough. We have、swabs. to do like what Kelvin is doing, which is I know he's going to talk about、effect. that, right? Americans are not; they're not really interested in doing that as much. Although the FDA did、uh, approve the first saliva test, it's still something that's not culturally something that people want to do、the、here. Spit? You mean spit and judge? We 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 were capable of running the test, but we. Lack the swabs, the equipment that collects specimens. So 
these are the testing results in Hong Kong. And, and Dr. Tao, you guys actually don't do as many tests as, as you need to do, right? You do less. Yes. 其實在香港我們可以做多很多 send個test或者在這一刻還有個每天有個有個quota 正式實際運作的時候的困難所以其實要檢測在香港已經不是一個問題最大的問題反而他們證明這些測試所以 Hong Kong has its own set of problems in terms of quotas of how many people can do what Please come in on the airport This is the San Francisco airport We have all kinds of people coming into the San Francisco airport internationally as well as across the different states So are we doing enough at the airport? We're, you mean, are we doing anything at the airports? I mean, yeah, I what have, are we doing at the airport? I mean, we ha- I had a friend from North Korea, uh, coming from South Korea to New York when South Korea was at its peak, and he said it took him the record time to come through JFK, which was seven minutes. <laughs> so uh, the U.S. has no intelligent disease screening at the borders. You know, when you go to Asia, they actually set up uh, thermal scans to look at people walking by. There is nothing like that. Maybe they might ask you a few questions. Um, I'm not sure what's actually going on, uh, happening at San Francisco, but I couldn't imagine it being more than a few questions. In Hong Kong and Singapore, for example, and Dr. To can elaborate more. When you go to Hawaii, you have to put yourself up in a hotel and pay for your own expenses for two weeks quarantine before they let you out. And Singapore and Hong Kong do the same, except they pay for the hotel, I think. But there's nothing like that in mainland US. 即是我們在美國不用做的,你可以隨隨隨入問你幾條問題,你不用過十月十四日的住酒店去自己隔離的。So uh, that's very, very different. So you, you published a study on this. It was, uh, it was so uh, important that it got published, like you submitted it in one week, and the next week it was published electronically. I was so impressed. So why is this study so important? 說回一點點歷史 拿一個盒子,普通的盒子,開了蓋,咔一聲,盡量將心口的口水吐出來,刪回蓋,就可以聲去做test。可以很多人同一時間留標本其中的地方就是機場現在機場每一個回來的旅客都會留心口的標本另外有些人擔心有些人擔心會不會口水不準確呢我們做了不同的現在也有很多不同的口水出來了那個口水是準確度是大過九成的所以我們很有信心用這個口水的方法可以 
So uh, I just say briefly in, uh, in English. So saliva test is so easy. You just spit. I mean, open the cap of the bottle, spit, close the cap, and send. Very easy. So this allows a thousand people to save all the saliva in two minutes. Instead of and it also minutes. saves uh, PPE, Kelvin. Yeah, exactly. So it saves a lot. You don't need swabs. You don't need PPE. You don't need doctors. You don't need nurses. All you need is a bottle. And a mouth. And a mouth, correct. <laughs> yes. um, so, and with a video or pictures like this, it can easily be done. So this makes it makes massive screening possible yeah. and cheap. See, this is how you have to gang up and gap up in order to take the test. And the worker has to be so close to the, to the driver who's, or whoever's sitting in the car. So it exposes the, uh, the healthcare worker to great risks of contracting the virus himself. And uh, it's very expensive. And normally uh, there was a charge of 200 and some dollars, but uh, now it's free. But still, and then there's the, the risk of very low risk of Kind of causing breathing or hurting the throat or you know whatever right when you poke that swap into into it but last week dr uh, uh chin hong we had a problem because we didn't have enough of this uh testing kits and so we couldn't test not because we couldn't do the test but we couldn't collect the specimens so it, we, we were like only doing a hundred and some tests a day instead of doing a thousand or four thousand we can do up to four thousand a day yeah we can do up to four thousand but we didn't have this stuff to collect the specimen. So you can do all you want, but there's no specimen to, to work with it. So, so we don't call them masks anymore because we don't, we don't have enough masks in the healthcare system. So we call them face coverings. So we have to cover the face. So this has become an order on April 17th in San Francisco. And uh, it was recommended by the CDC uh, on April 3rd. So you see, it took us a couple of weeks to catch on and generate the order. So, but in Hong Kong, everybody does that, right? In Hong Kong, yeah. do die, Yes. This is becoming fashionable. New fashion in town. I got one from a friend. They sewed one for me. <laughs> you have to paint some pictures on it. <laughs> <laughs> so you see in Hong Kong, people are very self-conscious. You don't have to tell them. They just do it themselves. They're used to it, right? It's a habit now. They form a habit. Peer, it is peer pressure as well. And peer pressure. And if you don't wear masks, people look at you like, why are you not wearing masks, right? Exactly. Yeah. So self-discipline. We actually have answered some, a lot of the questions through what we were talking about earlier. We know that the virus has gone through some mutation and have different strains, how it affects, infects people in terms of how it transmits to people and how sick people get. What, what, what does this mean and, and whether vaccine would help? So it's all, a lot of questions that's all lumped together uh, talking about the virus. I can start and then we'll have Dr. Tu uh, jump in. But right now, for, from what I know, there isn't any evidence that any strain is different in terms of transmissibility risk to another. Um, there is the idea of super spreaders, which is, I think personally is an interesting uh, theme, which is that one person or a few people can affect a lot more people than somebody else with the same virus. And that has to do with a bunch of different factors, depending on the virus itself, whether or not it's a different strain, although, again, as I said, there's no evidence. It has to depend on the host. Usually, maybe when they're symptomatic and they can spread more, maybe they have higher viral shedding, like what Dr. Tu was talking about. It has to do with the environment, where that person is. Is it on a cruise ship or a prison? Um, they can spread a lot more people, or in the New York subway. Uh, is it, what is the behavior of the population? Are they used to wearing masking or is it something very strange that they don't like to do that? So that, that can affect a lot more people from one person. And then finally, what is our public health response? If we know we see a signal quickly of an outbreak, we can go and quash it. If we don't do anything, then one person can spread a lot more. But for example, that idea of super spreaders has been something in infectious disease for a long time, even in SARS, that Dr. Tu knows 
one, you know, one person in the plane who went back to Canada, I think, affected all those people around, even though they were more, you know, more than six feet away. Um, so it's kind of an interesting concept. Um, we know that most of the infections probably spread by a few people. There's one case in New York where they trace more than 100 people to one person. So it's kind of an interesting concept. Dr. To, you have any thoughts? Can you also uh, talk about the HEPA filters? Does it work? The first question is, actually, 即病毒日日都變緊種嘅，咁但係暫時咧就未有證據顯示佢變種會令到只病毒會誒誒誒篩離咗啊，或者佢係會傳得快啲啊。咁另外就暫時當然個變種我哋永遠要擔心啊，我
。咁好多人話會唔會香港有個 t e 叫復陽啊？即係本來叫做即係 test 咗陰性，咁但係又變咗陽性。咁其實就我覺得唔係正式叫復陽，只不過係有陣時佢、呃呃、因為個病毒嘅數量好低嘅時候，有陣時就會檢測到，有陣時檢測唔到啫。咁但係我哋就好彩未見有啲病人呢係。真係因為有叫第二次感染，有啲好嚴重嘅病情，我哋就冇見過嘅嚇。咁、啊、所以我哋相信，只不過係暫時嘅問題都係，只不過病毒基因殘留喺個身體裏面好耐嘅啦嚇。咁、啊、當然，另外就係嗰、那個、呃、病毒對一個人體會有長期嘅影響啦。咁頭先啊陳醫生都講咗好多其誒、呃、心臟啊、嗰、那個肺啊、那個功能會受影響。咁我哋知道呢，其中一個一定會受影響，即係如果佢有嚴重肺炎嘅話呢個肺部係會即係會有一個長即係比較長期嘅影響嘅。咁但係你話個肺部幾時復原到呢？咁就好難講，因為啱啱個病毒都係即係一幾個月啫。咁但係我哋相譬如以前嘅經驗呢，就相信可能即係如果好嚴重嘅、呃呃、肺部感染呢，可能需要一年或者以上嘅時間先能夠完全可以 recover 到。啊、我哋都聽過有啲香港嘅運動員，佢哋都話、啊、感染咗之後，開頭真係會行，即係就算行步路都行幾步路已經覺得氣喘，咁所以係即係呢只病毒有機會會即係影響個、呃、身體比較長嘅時間、啊。另外一個誒冇、呃、提過就係聞嘢，誒 a n o s m i a 我哋知道咧好多病人咧，佢聞唔到嘢。咁聞到嘢好好彩咧，就有啲有啲病人好快可以聞得翻嘢啦。但我哋喺香港有啲病人咧，隔咗幾個禮拜都未聞得翻嘢。咁聞唔到嘢個嚴重程度係咩咧？連大便都聞唔到。So some people can't even smell feces for weeks。And 同埋呢樣嘢咧，對個病人其實係好 distressing 嘅，因為聞嘢其實原來係一個好緊要嘅問題。即、就、係、是、我哋大家平時聞到嘢就唔覺，但係突然間聞唔到嘢咧，其實係對個病人好大影響嘅。咁所以、呃、我諗呢個亦都係呢個呢、這個、呃、新冠狀病毒其中一個好特別嘅地方，係永久啊，永久聞唔到嘢。誒、呃，未知係咪永久？咁但係有好係有，但係起碼有啲人真係幾個禮拜都聞唔到啊。嗯。啊、uh, 啊、uh, ，Peter，I don't know about anosmia or loss of smell in your yeah, patients. More than ten percent. How long does it last for? Yeah. Uh, for probably at least well, some there's a range, but you know, certainly. More than two weeks, and so the the one, so some people say you can check yourself every morning by seeing if you have a fever and if you can smell the coffee. That's really good science. Come, <laughs> 诶、uh, ，最后一条问题咧，今日咧就系讲一讲呢个免疫啊。咁系咪个个人都话，如果系咪而家感染咗之后，如果翻转头第日有第二个风嘅诶感染嘅时候，会唔会会唔会就系唔唔再诶有？感染嘅機率咧，同埋咧，仲有咧就係話，誒而家係咪已經有 herd immunity 咧？即係話嗰個誒、嗯、已經夠個社區裏邊好多人有感染啦，個個都有誒好、呃、多都有啊依、呃這個誒、呃、antibody 抗體啦。咁會唔會可以阻擋第二潮嘅復發咧？假如而家我哋會復發，因為而家咧就係話可能咧到秋季嘅時候咧，依、這個誒瘟疫咧仲可能復發嘅喎。So people are saying that it might come back in the autumn and winter this, you know, this year, later, even if it goes away now. I mean, I think a lot of people are predicting that from the U.S. perspective. It will be interesting to see what、uh, Dr. Tu says and what Dr. Yoon thinks. But I think I remember when we spoke with Dr. Yoon before. He thinks it's not going to go away, and I think many people think so until we have a vaccine. And you know, Dr. Yoon. And others are working in that vaccine too, but it will be like influenza almost, come and go.、Uh, except this is deadlier than influenza.、Um, so, and then life probably would not be back to normal until we have a vaccine. Because we have some Vietnamese people who are back to Hong Kong. In those people, we have found that only in three months. Our research has found that only about four percent of Vietnamese people who are back to Hong Kong have COVID-19. 凭咁样嘅经验咧，我哋觉得就算喺武汉爆发得咁犀利咧，好多时都冇一个叫做群体感染啊，或者 herd immunity 吓。咁我知道喺啱啱寻日我睇 C N N， 好似话喺 New York 又有十十四个 percent 度啦嘅群体感染。咁咁所以诶呢、呃這个就系讲紧咩咧？即系如果喺香港做得好好嘅防疫啦
，咁啊代價咧就係冇呢個抗體。有陣時喺美國反而可能做得冇咁好嘅地方咧，即係喺 New York 反而就抗抗體好啲。咁所以如果如果抗體真係有保護程度咧，咁可能喺紐約仲安全過喺香港某程度上，因為多啲人有抗體嚇。咁、啊、但係我哋好多時唔記得嘅嘢就係呢啲抗體係咪真係有保護力咧？嗱，呢個其實唔知道嘅。嗱，有抗體嘅意思係咩？只不過係個抗體可以認到個病毒。咁但係個抗體唔代表一定係保護到個病人。我哋知道有啲抗體咧係令到個病情更加差嘅。以前都試過，我哋知道流感打咗針之後咧，有啲人唔知點解佢產生啲抗體咧，係令到個病情更加差嘅。咁所以呢啲產生嘅抗體係好定唔好呢？我諗呢個係要進一步嘅研究先知道咯。嚇，但係當然希望我哋相信呢啲抗體係好嘅。咁就希望多啲人有抗體嘅時候就會好啲咯。I think from the returnees from Wuhan, the positive antibody positive rate is four percent, according to our research. So in Wuhan is a big outbreak, and only four percent have the antibody. But maybe either because people don't develop the antibody, or because the measures was really good that only few people get infected. Right now, I think in Hong Kong or China, there's no herd immunity at all, or very low herd immunity. Maybe better in US because I heard in CNN yesterday that it's 14% in New York, if I'm correct, and somewhere in Germany is 15%. I heard, so in those places maybe better. But I think we have to be very cautious. Antibody doesn't mean protection, necessarily mean protection. We know that some antibody can have no protective effect. Some actually make people get worse. I think more research is needed to know whether those antibody are really protective or not. So we are hopeful. Uh, we, 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 I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but we have to be very, very cautious about whether antibody is really a good thing or not uh, when arising from natural immunity. And definitely when vaccine comes, hopefully it will generate good immunity, good antibody that protects our community. That's it. Thank you so much, Dr. Tao. What are people doing in Hong Kong when someone gets discharged from the hospital and they go back home? How are the other family members taking care of them? Because everybody in Hong Kong when they get home is already um, they're checked twice to be negative for any okay, virus. Okay, so you only discharging negative people to home. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Um, so far, we can do that because we have enough beds in the hospital. We can't do that in the US because we don't have enough beds. So actually, we use. Yes. Clinical criterion to send people home a lot of times without checking their negative yeah. virus first. So that leads to a lot of issues with taking care of loved ones at home after discharge from the hospital. So, you know, we've had to have some discussions about that where the family members have to wear masks, they have to keep the, you know, and washing hands, san, san, hand sanitizer, keeping the uh, personal belongings to a minimum in the room, so fewer surfaces. Having a a plastic bin so you can keep the rubbish from the sick person there until you know some period of time, and uh, so those are all issues we have to deal with in the U.S. Because again, we are probably discharging people before they are RNA negative. All yes. of them. Thank you so much, Docs. So I appreciate your、uh, sharing expertise today, and we also thank、uh, all the、um, people、uh, online. Who are joining us today? And thank you, those who have sent in the questions. We don't have the time to answer you today, but we'll keep your questions and answer them next time. And so, if those、uh, those of you who could not、uh, join us today, we are going to this、uh, video session has been、uh, re recorded, and we will publish the link later. 如果系今次啊，多首先多谢各位各位参加先，咁咧就啊。希望你哋、呃、大家都平平安安，希望你哋保重嚇。咁咧就今日咧，如果係冇辦法參加我哋呢個城市論壇嘅人咧，我哋係誒會有一條會將呢個錄影嗰個咧就會誒寄條鏈俾你哋，第日誒 click 上上網睇嘅。咁就你哋希望多啲人去睇啦。咁如果係你哋、呃、希望誒、呃、參加我哋嗰個 listserv 嗰個電郵網嘅咧，就請你寄個 email 去呢個 AHI。得 UCSF at gmail dot com 嗰度，我哋會將你加個名上去，以後你就會收到呢啲誒講座嘅信息噶啦。今日咧，其實咧就誒仲、呃、有個，如果你哋誒睇嗰啲誒數據嗰啲嘢咧，我哋喺我哋嘅網址啊 ，ahi dot ucsf dot edu 嗰度咧，都係有個誒、呃、網站係關於呢、這個
ซึ่งคุณจะแบ่งตัวแกได้ให้แชงในสองไทย Um, so we have uh, information on the website on the coronavirus and uh, is at ahi.ucsf.edu. Those of you who would like to join our listserv, please email us at ahi.ucsf.gmail.com. We want to thank all the important people that made this uh, um, town hall possible, and uh, of course, it's all the friends online who's joining us. But the physicians, the two very busy physicians who took time out of their busy day to join us, and we, and we could not have done it without other. Cast in the background, uh, um, Francine and uh, Demi and Raymond, and then we have to thank our media um, our partners, KTSF, and uh, also the UCSF Emergency Management Team and the Strategic Communications Department. Thank you so much for helping to uh, us to promote the uh, the town hall, so more people can join us. So let's work together. There's a lot more work to be done. Let's stay home, uh, stay safe, and. Um, Do the isolation that we need to do, and uh, with that, we are going to close today. And uh, we hope to see you next time. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Mm -hmm.